poppin' Libra, it's your boy for Kids Moon's Tarot coming at you guys with your February 2020 love tarot reading. I hope you guys are well. If so, let me know down in the comments down below. Keep in mind this reading is general. If it resonates, that's awesome. If not, a send a message. Feel free to check out any other amazing tarot readers that we got here on YouTube, okay? These messages may resonate backwards or vice versa, so take them how they resonate if they apply to your particular situation. If you guys would like, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which is all linked down below. And you guys can also check out my sister and her boyfriend's YouTube channel. That is the first link in the description if you guys want to take a look into my family's life. Nonetheless, Libra, let's go ahead and get into it and we'll see what's cracking for you February 2020 reading, all right? All right, message is for Libra here. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs throughout February 2020. What messages do we got coming through for Team Libra, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs throughout February 2020. Okay, Libra, one last shuffle. You guys are coming through really quick. Let's go ahead and see what messages we got coming in for you, okay? All right, Libra, what's happening? Energy between you and another person. You got a chariot card. Believe it or not, the first thought that came to mind was I'm dying to move out. So if there's any Libras out here who are really trying to move somewhere new, possibly move out from living with your parents or move out um, of a situation you're currently in, this could be in regards to your home situation this can be in regards to um, moving away from a certain person but the chariot card can Syrian energy here you're desperately wanting to get out of some sort of situation okay maybe not desperately but you're dying to right there's something better that you want to move yourself towards and you're ready to accept that so let's take a look here and see what's going on so you got here a page of swords a magician card and as for the outcome you have a five of swords now with the page of swords energy here uh, this is Gemini Libra Aquarian energy I definitely feel where you have been very very hesitant to communicate your true feelings as of lately. I feel like you've been holding a lot back, Libra, in regards to your life, in regards to what you want to do, how you want to communicate about certain things, and I think it's because of this magician card here, okay? You can be connecting possibly with a Virgo. Um, whoever this is you're dealing with, Libra, the magician card kind of represents a person who is... Um, I almost want to, because when you think of a magician, you think of a very strong person, a very strong manifester, right? But I think that you're almost dealing with somebody who comes from a place, and I don't want to say they come from a place of control. Let me clarify this card before I get any um, answers here. Clarify the magician card. Why is the person Libra is dealing with the magician card? Okay, what do we got? Queen of Wands. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So you're dealing with somebody that has the power, okay? And it almost feels, Libra, that you're in a place right now where you want to feel powerful. And it's almost as if whoever you're around, their energy almost makes you feel small or almost makes you feel tiny, okay? I actually had a peek at the Page of Wands here, and that's really funny because the page is under the Queen of Wands, okay? So I'm kind of getting from this situation right now, Libra. You're wanting to break away from somebody, but you're hesitant, okay? It's almost as if you're intimidated to do so. So this is where situations can get a little bit unhealthy. Um, there may be a number of you Libras right now who are intimidated to walk away from somebody. There could be a reason why they're keeping you there. Um, for others of you, this could be about wanting to get out of your home environment, but you can be intimidated because going into the world on your own can be intimidating. Um, but as for the outcome, Five of Swords, you're getting very fed up where you are currently in your environment, okay? And that's the most important part here. So whether your environment's a relationship, a home place, whatever it is that resonates, right? This could be your friend, family member, lover. This could be your home environment, your work environment. You're wanting to escape from something here in February 2020. So what I'm going to do here, Libra, is I'm going to go over who you're dealing with. We'll take a look at their feelings, your feelings, where energies are aligning, and then the outcome for February 2020. We'll also take a look into what's going on with them and what's going on with you. All right. So in regards to who Libra's connecting with, what is going on with the person Libra's dealing with, and how do they feel towards Libra, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs throughout February 2020. What is going on with the person Libra is dealing with and how are they feeling towards Libra, please? Okay, what do we got? So we got here a Two of Wands. We got here a Hierophant. We have a Queen of Swords. We have a Three of Wands. We have a Two of Cups. We have a Knight of Wands, or sorry, a Knight of Swords, a Seven of Cups, and then a High Priestess. So kind of what I'm feeling from this situation, Libra, with whoever this is you're dealing with, I kind of feel like this person is an individual who considers themselves a lot more than they consider you. So it almost kind of feels like whoever you're connecting with kind of comes a little bit on a selfish side. Um, and paired with the Hierophant too, they have this energy where they want you to stay with them, okay? Almost for some, this could be a codependent kind of connection. Your person may have a little bit of neediness here. And with the Queen of Swords to the Three of Wands, I'm kind of feeling here as well, 
It's like they don't want you to go anywhere because if you do, then they feel as if they're empty, okay? So I'm definitely starting to pick up a little bit on a sense of a codependent relationship here, Libra, okay? Um, and I think that you're in a place right now where Page of Swords, keep in mind, I said you were hesitant to cut away from something. You were hesitant to speak your truth. And I was also talking about how the person you're dealing with comes from a place where they can be intimidating. You might be in one of those relationships, Libra, or these connections where you're scared to leave someone due to the fact of what will they do if I actually walk away? You know, will this situation end in this person hurting me or will this situation end in this person being upset and hurting themselves? You know, how will the situation end? Will this person get into a, you know, a deep dark place or will they be insanely frustrated at me? Will they try to make my life a living hell? There's so much that's making you feel so hesitant and it's very uncomfortable for you, okay? And right off the bat, you being in this situation alone um, is a situation that's unhealthy for you, okay? So like I said, this can resonate to a number of things, whether this is your home life, whether this is your boyfriend, girlfriend you're dealing with, or your friend that you're dealing with, right? But there's someone that you can no longer really, you no longer wanna surround yourself with them because they feel like they have to wear the belt in whatever relationship it is that you have. They feel as if they have to make decisions. They feel as if they consistently need you, but they need to be the more powerful one and that's just a power trip kind of energy that's not very well inviting um two of cups here to the knight of swords you know they're definitely in a place where they don't want to let go of whatever relationship it is that you have but at the same time here seven of cups to a high priestess card they feel you slipping away and no wonder you are slipping away here libra you're slipping away due to the fact that they keep trying to keep you to stay and at the same time the way that they're treating you while you're in this relationship with them is unhealthy you know, you have the right to do whatever it is that you want to do. You have the freedom to do whatever it is that you want to do. And it feels like this person almost limits your freedom. Okay. This could be one of those relationships where, for example, you're dealing with a person and it's like they could, they try to control your individual life. <laughs> like, nope, you can't hang out with your friends and nope, you can't see this person or that person. And they do have this kind of controlling power trip dominant nature to them. And it's very uncomfortable for you. And they do feel you slipping away on an intuitive level. So, you know, the more they feel you slipping away, it's like the more they try to manipulate you back into staying with that Knight of Swords. You know, I do feel like whoever you're connecting with is rather much a smooth talker. So they do their best to kind of manipulate you to stay in the situation, okay? Whether it's emotional manipulation, whether it's playing the victim, whether it's playing, um, you know, being in a place where they feel... Um, that they can, that, you know, being in a place where they try to make you feel low and they can be high, you know what I'm saying? Like they have power over you. Um, so there's just a lot of this power trip energy coming up. Okay. Clarify here, the five of swords. Why is Libra getting to their breaking point with this person? What do we got? And page of wands. Remember how I said that page of wands peeked at me? They're trying to make you feel lower. They're trying to make you feel like they're more powerful than you. They're trying to make you feel like you're a child almost, okay? And as if they're your adult or as if they're your parent. Now, I will say here, Libra, if this is a parent you're dealing with, you're very tired of their controlling nature. You're very tired of the way that they're treating you and underminding you, and you're getting ready to completely walk away. Now, on the other hand, if you're not connecting with a parent and somebody's treating you like a child when you're a full-blown adult, that's definitely a situation that you don't want to be a part of because, listen, man, if you ain't my mom or dad you can't tell me shit and also after a certain age your parents can't tell you shit either so you got to live your life with freedom and your own happiness all right now in regards to how libra's feeling here let's take a look let's take a look at your feelings in regards to the person you're dealing with how does libra feel towards who they're connecting with please and what's going on with libra during this time libra sun moon rising venus signs throughout february 2020 how does libra feel towards the person they're dealing with and what is going on with libra during this time okay what do we got here? We got here Ten of Pentacles, we got an Ace of Swords, we got a Ten of Wands, we got a Two of Pentacles, we have a Knight of Cups, we have here King of Swords, a Seven of Wands, give me one more card, and an Ace of Cups. Okay, so right off the bat here, Libra, you're definitely doing a lot of fantasizing as of lately, which is good because the more you fantasize about certain things, it, it's a form of manifestation when you're imagining, right? But Ten of Pentacles to the Ace of Swords, you can picture such a better life for yourself. Um, and I definitely feel like right now, uh, you know, the life that you're living in is not a place you wanna be. So you're thinking about a beautiful future and you wanna know how to get there. Now, Ace of Swords paired with a 10 of Wands. You're in a place right now, Libra, where 
Everything that's around you is uncomfortable. You need a new beginning. You need new vitality. You need to take yourself somewhere new. And that's what that Ace of Swords is representing. And that Ten of, uh, that ten of Wands is representing your struggle. And with the Two of Pentacles here, you know, remember how I said with the Page of Swords, you're hesitant to move forward? You're hesitant to move forward because it's very hard when you feel like you have to walk around eggshells with the person you're connecting with. Because there's a sense of care that you have for them. Ace of Cups. There's a love that you have for this individual. Whether you're in love with them or not, there is some sort of care that you feel for them. And at the same time, you have a very good heart, Libra. And you don't want to hurt this person's feelings. You don't want to hurt them by walking away from them. You do want to do, however, what is best for you. But you're finding it difficult because you know that you would have to cause pain to another person in the process. Now, one thing I will say, Libra, is this is one of those situations where this is not your fault. It is not your fault if you walk away, Libra. It is not your fault if you decide to, you know, live your life apart from somebody that you feel is unhealthy for you. This is absolutely okay. And I know that you may feel that you are hurting them, and granted, maybe you will hurt them by walking away from them, but it is not your responsibility or duty in this world to make people feel um, you know, to make somebody feel or submit to somebody just so that they feel better. Do you get what I'm saying here? You know, your duty is to make yourself happiness, to fulfill yourself, okay, and to create whatever it is that you want in this world. Now, I know that that sounds rough. I know that that sounds intense. I know that it can sound mean, but the truth is, is that you are meant to take care of you. You're not meant to take care of anybody else. Unless you have a child, you take care of that child. But if it's not a child here, you know, you have no one to take care of but yourself. And I feel like, you know, right now, Libra, I feel like you're getting fed up with being around this person's energy, with feeling belittled, with feeling small, and with them being almighty and tall, dealing with their controlling aspects that they've been throwing on to you. And the reason why you're staying is because there's a certain care that you have for them. You know, I feel like you care about their feelings. I feel like you care about this person's happiness. And to an extent, I think you really want this person to be happy, but at the same time, it's difficult when you really want to leave. So you're, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place due to the fact of the care you have for them. Now over here you have a Knight of Cups and then you have a King of Swords. And it really comes down to uh, your heart versus logic. Your heart versus your mind. You know, your mind is telling you, Libra, get out of the situation, walk away from it, it's time to go. But your heart's saying stay because you should be here for this person. But at the same time, I feel like your emotions are being manipulated. And I think right now, um, in the month of February, you really have to block out that manipulation and really go with what feels right. Because if your intuition is guiding you, Libra, to walk away from this, that is what your higher self is saying to you. And I think that that decision, excuse me, that decision is gonna better benefit you than the current state you're in now, okay? So you, you know, at the end of the day, you may have to hurt somebody, but you have to go with what feels right. You have to block out feelings sometimes, or like, you know, feelings of guilt sometimes in order to really focus on what you really want to do for yourself, okay? Um, moving forward into this reading, let's take a look at where energies are aligning between you and the person you're dealing with. Message is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Throughout February 2020, where are energies aligning between Libra and the person that they're dealing with, please? What do we got? We got here Queen of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Wands, and then over here, the Nine of Swords. So you have two options here, Libra, okay? Um, and the options that I'm seeing on the plate is that this is entirely your choice this month. And as is every tarot reading, because you can always take your advice or you don't have to take my advice, right? It's completely up to you. Um, you know, your life outcomes will be determined by what you do. So with the Queen of Cups to the Wheel of Fortune, from what I'm seeing here, you know, if you continue to stay involved with this person and, you know, kind of, you know keep, keep, keep yourself in the position you're currently in, you're going to be unhappy. Because you're going to make the other person happy here, right? Four of Wands. But with the Nine of Swords, you're going to be miserable. You know, you're going to be miserable if you stick around in this situation. Because with the Wheel of Fortune all the way to the Queen of Cups, like, if you're keeping yourself in this cycle, all right? Yes, you may be making the other person happy, but you're making yourself unhappy, okay? You're getting to a place where you're, you're you know, adding more misery to your life. And if you choose not to, Ace of Pentacles, the universe is here to bless you with something even better. Clarifying that Ace of Pentacles. Okay, we got here the Justice and the Empress card. Take a look at that, Libra. Both of these major arcana cards are literally you. Both of these major arcana cards are literally you. So with the clarification for the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles represents blessings from the universe. What is the universe going to bless you if you get out of this situation? You're going to be blessed with harmony, 
peace, balance, and growth, okay? And you're going to start to grow into your own individual and things in life are going to start looking up for you when you make the conscious choice to do what's better for yourself. When you better yourself on your own individual level, life begins to start throwing blessings in your path, okay? Um, and I know that this is a difficult time because whatever this connection is, it's definitely karmic. That's why you feel like you have a need to be there. But I don't feel like the person you're dealing with is keeping you around um, with good intentions, okay? Let's take a look here. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Um, the person that Libra's dealing with feels Libra slipping away. Why do they want to keep Libra around so badly? What do we got here, okay? We got here a Three of Cups, and we got here a World card, okay? Yeah, they want to keep you around, Libra, because it's enjoyable for them. You're enjoyable to them. I don't know if that sounds necessarily very good. <laughs> I don't know if hearing the word that you're enjoyable to them is super great, um, especially taking a look at the Three of Cups. It almost kind of feels like very provocative when I hear that. Um, so if you have a sexual relationship with this person, I don't know if it's just about the sex, but that may not be what it is. But with the Three of Cups to the world card, um, that's, that's what it is, man. This person feels like without you, you know, they their their world is nothing. And they feel like you complete them. And that comes from such a codependent space. And I think that's why it's difficult for you. You know? It's difficult for you because this person feels like you complete them. And it's just like, shit. This is such a tough situation. But I think you know, Libra. Like, I think you know if you walk away from them, you're going to be happier. And better things are going to come in your path. But you just keep getting wiped back into this person's life. Because you know that they, in quotes, need you. But the truth is, is that you don't owe your, like, you don't have to fulfill anyone's neediness. And once again, it sounds harsh, but it's true. The only person's needs you, just, you really need to fulfill in life is yours or a child of yours, okay? You really don't have to fulfill anybody else's needs. And their codependency is something they may have thrown onto you, but their codependency is not your responsibility to fuel the dependent person, okay? As for the overall outcome between you two, Throughout February 2020, let's take a look. What do we got here for Libra? And we got an emperor. You got to take control of the situation or the situation will control you. Okay. Ooh, I like that, how that sounded. Okay. That was, that was a pretty good way <laughs> to describe that. But yeah, you got to take control of the situation or the situation will control you. Taking a look at the bottom of the deck, seven of swords here, five of wands here, eight of pentacles, eight of swords, and then the sun card. Here's your literal outcome too. If you continue to stay in the connection you're currently in, seven of swords, you're going to feel unhappy. You're going to feel robbed of your energy. You're going to feel deceived. And then you're going to feel even more frustrated by staying in the connection you're currently in. In, but if you decide to work on yourself, it may be a little bit of a situation that makes you overthink and it makes you uncomfortable, but it leads you to happiness, the sun card, right? So there are, you know, spirit is lining up here saying that, you know, it's the green light, it's confirmation, it's all go for you, Libra, to focus on yourself and walk away from unhealthy situations. It is a green light for you to do that. And I know that you may be nervous and scared about what the outcome will be with the person you're dealing with, but it isn't your duty or responsibility to micromanage their life or be a part of it in the sense that you have to take care of them. It's not your duty, okay? And also, I want to let you guys know, because I deeply resonate with this kind of situation because I've been through it, this is not your fault, okay? I want you Libras to know that it's not your fault. You know, sometimes you meet people and they're, you know, everything starts out great and they can develop a codependency. Um, others may have been codependent from the jump and maybe you recognized it later on, but it doesn't matter because you saw something in this person when you first met them and you um, obviously care for them, but their dependency is starting to become too much for you. And it's not your duty or responsibility to take care of anybody else but yourself or a child, okay? It's just not your responsibility or duty. And I know that it's difficult because there's an emotional tie here, but that's that karmic energy, that push and pull kind of force. And with the Emperor card here, it's urging you to take control of the situation or the situation will continue to control you. All right. I would pull a what's my best advice spread, but I, you know, my best advice is here. Um, with that Eight of Pentacles, that Eight of Swords and that Sun card, you know, if you put in the work right now to separate yourself from this situation, like I said, you may be nervous about what the outcome will be on this person's end, but you will reach your own happiness. And if you continue to stay, you know, you're only going to continue to reach your misery. 
right? Seven of swords, nine of swords, five of wands. Your frustrations and misery will still be there. And that's all going to be at the cost of making someone else happy versus yourself because there isn't mutual happiness here. You know, it'd be a different story if there was mutual happiness, but the only happiness that you bring is happiness that you bring to this person. It's an unequal relationship. It's not balanced. There's no give and take. And both of you at this point are in a space where neither of you um, kind of deserve each other because you're unhappy with them and they're in a place where they are coming out of neediness for you and it's not a balanced connection, you know? So you deserve something better, Libra. And this person, they need their time to heal and work on their um, dependency issue. And then they will find a person that they deserve as well. But I am feeling here that you deserve better in your situation. And of course, that's my opinion. If you don't resonate with my opinion, that's okay. But that's my opinion. And I think it's a good one to say that you deserve better, right? <laughs> I think it's a good opinion there. But nonetheless, man, that's what I'm seeing here for Librans. You know, these are tough situations. And it doesn't come with an easy thing. It's not an easy thing. It's really not an easy thing to walk away from somebody who relies on you, who says that they need you, who's dependent on you. It's not easy because it makes you feel guilty. It makes you feel guilty, you know, and then this person can come with all sorts of threats, such as threats that they're going to kill themselves or threats that they're going to, um, you know, that they're going to, you know, just get depressed or be in a very bad state or they may take it out on you. There's so many different outcomes that you can feel and it's really makes you feel guilty, like as if you've done something wrong, but you have to come to the realization that they're getting in your head when they do that because you're not doing anything wrong. You're doing everything right for yourself. Okay. And I want you guys to know that because I know these kinds of situations are tough. I've been in one before. It's been very rough. It got really deep, but I took the high road and five of pentacles. I had to walk away for my own good and I had to have the tower happen for my own mental health, my own sanity, and overall my own happiness. So I had to drift away towards that person. Um, and once I did, you know, I came out fine. I really moved into much better areas of my life here, Eight of Wands. And I got to a point where I released the devil and then I started working on myself. Three of Pentacles. I love the way that the cards line up. But yeah. I released the toxicity and, and uh, unhappiness in my life and eventually everything worked out and I no longer felt stuck in a place where I didn't want to be. And that was the whole point in the beginning of the reading is that you felt trapped and you're like, I need to get somewhere. I need to move forward um, and you need to go somewhere new, right? So, you know, Libra, as I've stated previously, this can resonate to whatever. It could be a friend, a family member, or a lover. This could even be living in your home situation and you feel like you're treated like a child even though you're an adult in your house and you're like, I want to move out. It's time for me to leave. Whatever it is that it resonates to, it resonates to. But, um, and also, if it doesn't resonate, Libra, feel free to watch whatever reader. You know, not every reading can resonate. But if this is your situation, Libra, I deeply, I deeply, you know, resonate with your pain because it's, it's difficult and it's tough. But I promise you... You know, the moment that you really, you push through all the guilt, okay, you break away from what is not helping you, and you sit back and you just let it play out how it needs to, you know, don't text this person, say your piece, say what you need to say, don't give in to them when they try to, you know, bring you back into their life. If you really put the distance there and keep up that boundary, it may take some time, you may feel guilty, it may hurt for everyone, but in the more the time passes by, the easier it's going to get, and the more happy you're gonna to start to notice that you are, okay? So trust me, it all works out in the end. Nonetheless, Libra, thank you guys so much for coming out. Um, I really appreciate it, thank you guys so much. I hope that it resonates and helps those that this situation resonates to. Um, you know, if it can help you in any sort of way, I'm happy that I could do that. But nonetheless, Libra, I will catch you guys for your February mid-monthlies. Take care, have an awesome, fantastic, and amazing rest of your month. I know that this may be difficult, but we're gonna get through it, all right? I love you, Libras, take care and have a good one. Peace.